kazi wamempokonya kila kitu chake na mimi najua kwa mtu hakutaki katika kazi si anakuacha huendeza kusalama mbona wamemzuilia na huko akiwa hana mtu yoyote ambaye ni mtu wake amejaribu ameenda embas na hakuna usaidizi wowote mpaka hivi sisi tumekuja nyinyi medium na mimi naomba hizi salamu zimfikie rais wetu Sie ana watoto basi ule uchungu mimi nausikia kama mzazi na mimi naomba aguswe asikie vile vile aniletee mtoto wangu asaidie ama mtangoja niletewe gogo niletewe tu hivi alienda kwa hiyo aenda kutafuta maisha na kama haiwezekani basi arudishwe kwao mbona aachwe huko ama haki ni kuwa mtu kitafuta ndio vibaya basi mimi ninachoomba hizi salamu rais William Ruto kama vile yeye nilimshuhudia kwa jicho langu akimwa ya machozi ya kuwa yeye Mungu amwezeshe awe rais nami hayaone machozi yangu tena naye aombe na afanye msaada mtoto wangu aregeshwe ikiwa paka sasa Mume wangu Francis ameachishwa kazi kampuni hayemlipa miaka yake aliyofanya kazi. Wamempokonya higama, higama ambayo inaitwa kitambulisho. Wamempokonya karatasi ya kazini, wamempokonya kadi ya hospitali. Paka sasa Francis analala msikitini, ikifika usiku msikiti nafungwa Francis analala nje. Anapibwa na vumbi na mpaka sasa Francis mafua amemshika na ni mgonjwa ataenda mali gani? Kitu tunachoomba bwana Rais Ruto tunachotaka uwaregeshe watu wetu nyumbani. Uh, Daudi amefanya kazi Saudi kwa miaka zaidi ya nane na shirika hilo la Almarai. Kufikia mwaka jana mwezi wa kumi walisimamisha kazi. Baada ya kumsimamisha kazi wamekataa kumpa ticket, wamekataa kumprocessia existing visa. So Daudi kuanzia mwaka jana ye na Francis wanahangaika huku na huku wakitafuta njia ya wao kurudi nyumbani wamefika ofisini kule ofisi imewaambia kuwa tutakukatia na hakuna mahali utatupeleka Daudi na Francis wamekwenda mpaka kwa embassy Riyadh kwenda kuomba msaada sasa hii ni zaidi ya miezi minane sasa hii We call upon CS Bore you know the one for labor and social protection and CS Professor Alfred Mutua now that you are in charge of foreign affairs please make the issue of migrant workers the topmost of your agenda as you begin work because it cannot get any further we cannot lose more people and if no action is taken as haki africa we will remain relentless and we we are even ready to go on ground you know demonstrate and even camp at the embassy until a kenya can leave kenya today and go to saudi arabia or bahrain or qatar or wherever in the gulf you know and get respected and work in decency in dignity <laughs> 